Hi, it's Dr. Osborne, board certified neurosurgeon. And today we're going to talk about a time-tested supplement known as creatine, one of the few nutritional supplements that can truly move the needle for you. So creatine is an amino acid derived molecule that's primarily found in skeletal muscles like your biceps. And it's used as a supplement to enhance physical performance. It also happens to increase lean body mass without promoting fat gain. So you get the best of both worlds. That's right. So how do you use creatine? Well, a loading protocol of 20 grams per day for a week is recommended for new users, while a maintenance dose of five grams per day suffices for regular daily users. And this can produce significant increases in strength. Power lifters like me use it to increase max effort lifts by about two to 3% which can truly be the difference between winning and losing when I'm competing. Creatine may also protect the brain of those with traumatic brain injuries or TBIs, which I deal with very frequently in my neurosurgical practice. So now I want to talk briefly about some of the myths surrounding creatine, and I'm just going to debunk them one by one. So first, creatine is bad for your kidneys. Well, that's wrong. There are no data supporting this, and I otherwise would have been dead 30 years ago, literally. So number two, newer creatine supplements with fancy names are better than creatine monohydrate. Well, that's a myth. This is a sales tactic. Next, creatine needs to be loaded for weeks before seeing an effect. Nope. And while it may take several weeks of daily creatine use at lower doses, to saturate muscle stores and to get maximal benefit, the effects will be apparent after several small doses of five grams daily if you choose not to do the loading protocol, which simply saturates the muscle stores much quicker. Lastly, creatine is dangerous. Absolutely not. Creatine is one of the most widely used and studied supplements. Its safety profile is excellent if you're sticking with standard daily dosages of five grams. As always, speak with your doctor prior to using any supplement. And remember, whether in or out of the gym, safety comes first.